Uh, C, some. Unavoidable. Yeah, there's two more C. Rotate C if you can. We tend to dust. One enemy remaining. That's insane. Harder. Fuck you, Neil. Today, Holy I shit. was the sword. What's going on, guys? Mini Soten here. Today, I'm going to be giving a quick guide on how to play the agent Sage from Riot Games' Valorant. Sage is the operator that I've used the most so far in my short tenure with the Valorant beta. I just ended up picking her and found some unique ways to use her abilities and help me win rounds. Before we get into anything else, let's take a look at her abilities. First off, her character type is a Sentinel. Reich describes Sentinel agents as defensive experts who can lock down areas and watch flanks, both on attacker and defender rounds. This is extremely true with Sage. Her abilities are great for locking down a bomb site on the offense, while also keeping enemies out on the defense. Sage's first ability, which I abound to E, is the Slow Orb. Slow orbs can be thrown anywhere and bounce off walls. As the name implies, anyone who steps on it will be slowed down. If you try to move in the iced off area, it will make a cracking sound, alerting anyone around that you are there. These orbs last approximately 8 seconds and can be purchased during the buy phase. They cost 100 credits each, and she can hold 2 per round. Sage's second ability, which I have bound to one of my mouse buttons, is her healing orb. This is an orb that heals teammates as well as yourself. You automatically start with this ability at the beginning of each round, and it regenerates after 35 seconds. Sage's third ability, and my favorite, which I have bound to Q, is her barrier orb. This orb creates a large ice wall that can lift people up and block off paths. It can be broken, but it lasts about 40 seconds on its own. That can feel like an eternity while trying to retake a bombsite, however. You might notice in the background game footage, me using the barrier orb to lift myself up and kill unsuspecting players. It really comes in handy, and that's why it's my favorite ability. Last but not least, Sage's ultimate ability, which I bound to X, is Resurrection. Pretty self-explanatory, once again, it just resurrects a player with full health at any point in the round. This is really useful when you're trying to retake a bombsite, or in a clutch scenario so you can have an extra body with you. Keep in mind, though, that don't do this out in the open if there's enemies nearby, because there's an animation which delays the person from pulling out their gun so they can be picked off right away. Try to use this ability when you're behind cover. It really is helpful. Let's move on to some gameplay and how to best utilize Sage. Personally, I think she works just as well as an attacker as she does a defender. Locking off lines of sight with her barrier orb can help give you a huge advantage, along with some cover to help you plant the spike. You may notice, after I plan it, I block off common areas where I think enemies might be coming from. This allows me to 1. Focus on other areas of the map, while 2. Hearing them if they shoot the ice wall, meaning I know that there is at least one enemy there. Her slow orbs work almost as well as smokes too. Although they don't deteriorate an enemy's vision, they will slow down their ability to peek, while also alerting you if they're going to do so. Don't be afraid to throw these orbs into high places to make the enemies move elsewhere. Another tactic that I found extremely useful is what I've named the Mercy Strat. You are essentially going to act like Mercy from Overwatch and provide healing to your teammates while they attack. Since the healing orb will bring your teammates health back up to 100, it is a smart idea to let them take the brunt of the force, have them fall back, heal them, and then push together. This is a great way to catch your enemies off guard by surprising them but you'll be at an overall health advantage in the end. Guys, this game is already a ton of fun, and I've had a blast playing it. I'm sure there's a ton more you can utilize Sage for that I haven't figured out yet, but I wanted to make this video to maybe try and help a few people that are new to the game. Let me know in the comments if you want any other agents that you want me to do a quick guide on. Make sure to like and subscribe to get notified for more new videos, and I'll be trying to stream some more Valorant on my Twitch channel. That'll be linked in the description. That's all for me, guys, and until then, I'll see you all next time.